Yep, that's hot. Hey there, Paul Wagler here for a rise now with a two minute wake up call. Well, why am I highlighting the fact that our water's hot? That should be a normal thing. Well, and it normally is, but a couple days ago, our hot water heater went on the fritz and we needed to get it replaced. I got up in the morning and the water was warm, but not hot. And I thought something is wrong. Well, that started the whole process and we got the hot water heater replaced and we now have hot water once again. But this talk of, uh, of uh, hot water and lack thereof has got me thinking about a verse from Revelations chapter 3, verse 16, where Jesus is talking to the church of Laodicea and he says, I know your deeds, that you are neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one or the other, but since you are lukewarm, neither cold nor hot, I am going to spit you out of my mouth. And I was like, wow, Jesus, those seem like some pretty harsh words. And, uh, and so it's got me thinking about hot and how do we stay hot? How do we live in that relationship with Jesus, with the heart that is, is burning with passion and, and we're on fire for him? Uh, you know, our hot water heater, it, it heats up regularly, many times through the day to make sure that there's hot water there whenever we need it. It doesn't just heat up once a month on the first of the month and say, well, there you go, there's your hot water for the month, or it doesn't just heat up on Sundays and say, there, you got your hot water for the week. No, it heats up regularly and that's how the water stays hot. Well, and it's the same in our relationship with Jesus. It's not that we can just say, well, I went to church on Sunday, now I'm good for the week and then just live our lives. No, it's, uh, it's that we live in that relationship with Jesus every hour of every day. We commune with him, we, we read the scripture, we, we meditate on who he is, and we, we talk and walk with him, and we worship him, and then our hearts stay hot, our hearts stay on fire for him, so that we can live fully for him. You know, as I was thinking about this, I, I realized that everything in my life flows out of the relationship that I have with Jesus. And, and it's not just some side little thing, but no, it is the very foundation of everything that I do. And I want to invite you into that relationship with Jesus as well, where he becomes everything to you and your hearts are on fire, your hearts are burning hot for him and that you live in that each day and you nurture that and uh, it will truly be a blessing. It gives tremendous meaning and purpose. If you are feeling like, wow, I don't have any purpose in my life and my life is lacking meaning, I urge you and I invite you to give your heart to Jesus and to say a full yes to him, live in that relationship, let your heart be set on fire for him and burn hot for Jesus each and every day and you will find meaning and purpose in life that you cannot find anywhere else. Well, I just wanted to challenge you with that and to invite you into that journey with Jesus. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.